Hi there, this is Ike from Spotter Home London and today we're going to be seeing a six bedroom home in North West London. Now out of the six rooms we're going to be seeing five of them and as for the area we are right by Golders Green station. In the other direction we'll have Brent Cross so we're going to have both of those stations a 10 minute journey away by bus and the bus stop is going to be a two minute walkway. So we're definitely perfect with transportation as we have the Northern Line there. And in the other direction we also do have Cricklewood which offers trains and we'll have Thames Link services there. Now, as for the rooms, they're spectacular, so let's go ahead and check them out. So here's the front entrance. We'll have a very long driveway before we get to the front door. And as we enter the home, you can see the mirror to the left. Hardwood floor that leads us straight into the kitchen. And to the right, the carpeted steps that, of course, lead upstairs to the remaining bedrooms and bathrooms. So now this first room here on the left is going to be bedroom number five. So this room features a double bed. Again, we'll have the same hardwood floor that we saw in the corridor. Bay windows that overlook the driveway. And as for the storage, we have a standalone wardrobe on, what, on the right of the bed and on the left we have the chest of drawers. So we'll see we have several drawers there. So there's a lot of storage here, adequate for all of your items. In addition, on top we do have shelves, as well as around the window, we have the window sill for any other items you may need to store. So also note we have heating with the radiator right here, and a room from this angle that's like this. We'll have one light in the middle and then two light fixtures here on the wall. As for the space inside of the standalone wardrobe, we'll have a rail tang of clothes and then one shelf up top for any additional items. So that's been room five. Now, room six is currently unavailable to be seeing at the moment, so we'll head straight into the kitchen. So here's the kitchen, fantastically decorated. We have the hardwood on the countertops. It's a nice contrast with the lighter tile down below. Now as for the appliances, you can see the stove here in the center, oven and underneath that. On the opposite side, starting at this end, we have the wash machine, toaster, sink, as well as the microwave down here on this side. So right as we entered the kitchen, we had the fridge and freezer. Up above, cabinet space for any kitchen utensils or food you may need to store. Pots and pans in there. And then additional storage is going to be underneath the sink and microwave. Now, you also note that we have access to the garden. It's currently locked at the moment. So here's a garden, very spacious. We'll have this patio deck area before we get to the actual grass. And if we take a step in and look at the house from this side, we can also see that we do have access through the bedroom we weren't able to see. So that bedroom has the sliding patio doors. And we also have access to the street through this door. So now we'll head upstairs to see the first floor. And again, as we can see, the carpet for the stairs. And as we reach the first floor, we'll see the gleaming hardwood floor. So, first thing to the right is going to be the bathroom. It's tiled. So here's the first bathroom. We'll have the toilet sink to the right, along with a window to let in some extra light. And the bathtub is right in front of us. So as we turn around behind the door, we'll see the radiator. 
and on the other side a mirror. So now, as stated earlier, bedroom one is at the top and here is going to be actually room number four. So room four features a double bed, storage space with the standalone wardrobe, as well as the chest of drawers next to it. So we'll get the bay windows again. This time it overlooks the garden. So we can see our garden as well as the neighbors. And from this angle, we'll get this view. So quick look inside of the drawers. And inside, the spacing is like this. So moving on. We'll have bedroom number three. So this room comes with a little bit more storage. We'll have the same double bed in the center of the room and the same bay windows that overlook the street with the radiator right underneath them. So let's have a look inside of this storage. So we see a lot of shelves. Through here. We can hang our clothes up here on the rail. One extra shelf up top. And this final wardrobe is going to have a mirror in built also. So this can in fact slide, which is a nice feature. And then outside of the window again is going to be the street view. It's bedroom three. So now the final bedroom on this floor is going to be bedroom number two. So this room is in fact the single bed. We'll have that first thing to the left. Again we'll have a lot of storage with the chest of drawers. We've got a radiator behind the bed and then built-in storage right here in front of the bed. So inside of this wardrobe we see we in fact just have shelves. It's got several, several shelves there. And lastly, we'll have bedroom one up on the top floor. So in addition to bedroom one, which is in front of us, we we'll also have bathroom number two. So this bathroom features a shower around to the right. Again we have the toilet, sink and a mirror in front of us. And then space for us to hang our towels as well as the radiator underneath that. So as for bedroom number one, see it's up on the top floor so we're going to have the skylights on the roof. And interestingly enough we also do have a kitchen built into the room. So we've got a stove, the oven, you can see the fridge and freezer right here. Of course a sink, storage space under there and then cupboards up top for you to store any pots, pans, plates or food. So we've got a view of the garden and then a dining table with two chairs. So the storage for the room, again, we'll have a standalone wardrobe this time. And then more space with the chest of drawers and even underneath here. corner in here with the light and then a final view from this corner 
also reveals that we do have heating with the radiator here in the corner. So that concludes it for the tour. So that's been the five rooms in this northwest London home. For more information, make sure to check out spothome.com. Bye bye.